اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to offer you a very quick tip on arranging your results. Now, let's say I've got this model with one IV, one DV. Calculate PLS SCM algorithm. Start. If you look here, outer loadings. Now, I've got CC first and then OC. Now, normally, you put your IVs, then your DVs or your predictors, then the outcomes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on it. And I'm going to write one full stop and then space OC apply and similarly I'm going to do for this one two and apply you can change your caption in the report as well if you do not want these numbers to be reflected in the report now simply save it calculate PLS SCM algorithm start and go to outer loadings and now you've got it here now you would say that still the CC is on top. Now, for that, you have to arrange these as well with numbers. So at least you've got your variables arranged. And look at this, arranged and arranged. Now, similarly, if you add other variables in your study, let's say I've got another variable vision. I've added here. So I'm go going to call it, let's say this one is two. Connect and my dependent variable is now my third variable so I'm going to call it 3 apply save calculate PLS SCM algorithm start and you can look at the outer loadings and you can look at the construct reliability 1 2 3 risk event validity as well now how do you arrange this in Excel so for now I'm going to copy this to Excel open the Excel sheet now let me arrange it here just paste it here now number one number two number three so this is number three select this right click cut it go towards the end right click insert cut cells now similarly number two number three it's arranged now obviously just make sure that decimal points are consistent so format cells numbers three decimal points Okay, so this is how you can arrange your results in Smart PLS based on your variables. Now, similarly, you can go to calculate bootstrapping. Let's start. Now, look at this here. One, two, one, three, two, three. So you can later arrange it as well if you take it to Excel. Let's say copy to Excel. You want to change the order. Let's have a new sheet here. Paste. Okay, so... Let's say I want to put this one before or like say before this one. So insert cut cells. So this way you can arrange your results as well. Again, P values up to three decimal points. Right click format cells number three. Okay. I hope this session or quick tutorial would have helped you understand how to arrange your results. Thank you very much.